My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Monster Train, specifically Wild Mutations. We are going to be continuing with the Controlled Chaos in Covenant 25. Uh, I've, I've learned a little bit more about exactly how Controlled Chaos works, so I know exactly what I need to do. Find a good card in the random uh, 5 plus 12, 17, random 17 that they give me. Upgrade it ridiculously, uh, and then duplicate it a billion times. See what we get. Alloy of the Ancients. End Flame is pretty good to uh, to give a good old dupin to. God, Ian Amulet depends on the upgrades. Ice Storm depends on the upgrades would actually be incredible as well. Okay. 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 It'll, it's just more draw if part of what I'm doing is decreasing the cost on an expensive card. Let's do it. I need, uh, I need the ability to scale my damage somehow. So I think Hornbreaker, the Reaper here in particular is going to be the way that we achieve that. <clears throat> They enter with armor 10. Can I deal with that? If I set up on the top floor, can I deal with that? Probably. Even if I can't, though, I definitely need a unit early. Hmm. I mean, we still set up on the top floor, don't we? Do we? Because that trusted priest is uh, an easy target for a Hornbreaker Prince at this point. Oh, I know how we deal with this. That, both of them die, and then that's so that the foot soldier doesn't make it to the top. So I get to keep the extra armor on my train steward. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately that worked a lot less than I wanted it to. Yeah, I can't do anything about that top liner anymore. That's fine. Got him. Take two damage in order to do that. No. Helical Crystallis. No. If it was still the range with... Oh! Never mind. Every everything's out the window. We're focusing on the consumer of crowns and only the consumer of crowns now. Endless? No. I hate doing that, but I have to take the money. I need to find a good upgrade right now. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, all right, when's our next merchant? Hellvent, that's a dupe. So are we going to start duping with what we already have? Are we really going to do that? Because if we do, we need to immediately Battlestone. Hellhorn banner. We probably want to avoid that one, honestly. So we could just go Hurstle's Horde and then Pyre remains in the next area as well as the Consoled. Uh, and then get some more money before we go to the Merchant of Steel down here. Where we could start doing our duping. Fine. I think just having one giant unit <laughs> that multi-strikes for 200 damage in a turn is going to be good enough right now.
All right. I have some AoE in the deck, so we still might just draw that. <laughs> Send all enemy units on this floor and apply days three. Yeah, so that I take 12 damage to all of them. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, okay. One. Well, I mean, that one's actually only hasting, right? So I go for a three damage one and then ancients. So the big thing I'm noticing right now is that the Hornbreaker dies, but also that that does not matter at all, even slightly. Uh, let's reduce the incoming damage as much as possible, though. You can make your slow-ass way up here, thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, hard no again. Thank you on those. Uh, Crypt Builder. Look, Crypt Builder is good, but is it good enough? Well, yes, it is because we're just going to be drawing the, the Consumer Crowns every turn anyway. Sure. So high health and uh, friendly units get, right, get three extra health. Gosh, is that actually better than friendly units gain Rage 3? Because Rage 3, 6 extra damage on a Consumer Crowns means nothing. 3 extra health might mean something. We can't do either! Wait a second, automatic rail spikes is just going to be free damage? Fine! I... I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. But it's fun. <laughs> that, that was a lot of my early experience with Monster Train. What the absolute heck am I doing? Enjoying myself, I guess. Uh, hmm. So the thing is, I don't want people to haste past me. I think I'm only stop duping the uh, the rail spikes after they're actually upgraded. Should that be what I do? Maybe that's not what I should do. That's probably not what I should do. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's those two. Just want to make absolutely certain, though. So train suit on the top line. Mm. Pretty much wherever available, I need to put armor on the consumer crowns. Just to try and keep it in a healthy position. <clears throat> Speaking thereof. Yeah, we only need to use one spell on one of those clergymen now. My offering token there cost three, didn't it? I'll tell you what happened. I saw an offering token. I was like, yeah, that's probably free. <laughs> uh, right. Second rail spike in the deck. Beat the ever loving heck out of this enemy. Um, all right. Fourth rail spike. We're going to upgrade the rail spikes at the end of this combat now. And they'll also no longer dupe themselves. <sighs> Reinforce is super valuable, but so is one horn's tome. Too good. Um, pass those. Definitely capacity. We need the ability to put two consumer crowns on the same floor. Uh, improved rail spike. They now get plus 10 magic power and consume. So I can always just cast them for free 10 damage to a single target at the end of my turn. 
That's good, right? That's good enough. That's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's fine. Yeah. It's def it's, it's fine. Uh, also, no. Please give me something good. Oh! Can we get some pogs in chat, please? Um. I mean... We are going to be duping them more, and I'm never going to have the ability to play train stewards down because of it, so let's remove the train stewards, I guess. Uh, well, that's multi-strike and it's armor. I'm going to turn that down. Non-boss enemies gain multi-strike. This is a little... <laughs> Bit of a concern. Because of the fact that the consumer crowns don't have infinite health and none of them have quick. Um, I still think I'm powerful enough to do it despite it. But it is a concern. None of those would have gotten be uh, would none of those would have gotten been slain. None of those. Not a single one would have gotten been slain. Um. That's. Let's take you. Uh, yeah, we need to take the damage ones out more than anything else. Like days three. That's actually not even enough to kill the Clit's Guardian. But wait, Frostbite eight, seven, six, and three damage. So seven and three, eight and six is 14, seven and three is 10, so 24. 24 down from that takes you to 91. Wait, never mind. Actually, if I also use the automatic rail spikes, we're fine. Okay. Wait, it says already that I'm taking no damage. Hit, nothing. Hit, nothing. Hit, nothing. Hit, right? No, because it's four attacks. Because we attack first? No, we don't. Days, attack. Days, attack. Days, attack. Attack. Wait. Hang on. What part of... Uh, it's, it's important I know what part of this I'm miscalculating. So you will take eight... At the end of the turn. Okay, so you'll take 876. 876 is 1521. 21 takes you down. 21 takes you down to not 90. Takes you to 81. I thought it was 91. I, I just didn't carry the 10, frankly. It's exactly the problem. I just did not carry the 10. Correctly in my subtraction. Guardian amulet extremely right there, I think. Yeah, this was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I was needlessly extremely concerned. to this floor and cop some of the business. Uh, rage has an additional damage per stack. The thing is, rage doesn't mean anything to me at this point. I'm taking money for more dupes. Inferno. Nothing there, though. Alright, we should get another dupe this round. Well, see, I don't have any more minion upgrades I can even do. Removing two cards from the deck seems pretty good, but the Merchant of Trinkets is going to have stuff that I'm not going to be able to buy. Over here, I get a little bit more money, more dupes. I think I need, want the more money for more dupes more than anything else right now. Come on, dupe. Before I did that, I should have come here just in case I got an upgrade. Thankfully, I didn't. 
Uh, Hellhorn, though, I want to find... It's exactly what I actually wanted to find. It's literally exactly what I was about to ask for. Thanks, game. Um, yeah, random artifacts for Spikes 4 isn't that bad. So at this point, I am definitely not trying to use the Hornbreaker's slay function. Not really. Like, if I'm suddenly in danger, I might look towards it, but if I can avoid it, I probably will. Giving you enough rage to kill in a single hit actually saves you some health. And then killing that also saves you some more health. Perfect. Uh, unfortunately, because the enemies have spikes, actually, mm, is anyone definitely going to have armor at all times? Probably not, right? I'm not going to be able to put the one horns time on anyone is, uh, is what I'm figuring out here. But to be fair, we knew that we were never going to get to play that in a fight where spikes existed, right? We knew that when we took it. Um... It's just a matter of take as little damage here as I possibly can. Throw the fledgling imp out so I don't cycle back to it. Yes. Nice damage I can throw out. And then... You'll love to see it. Extra upgrade slot so that I can actually give them HP. <laughs> Very good, although very late. Although very good, though. I'm not going to have a Merchant of Steel for a while. Like a whole area. <laughs> Do I large stone one of them? It's a lot of extra HP. It's the most extra HP that you can get in a single upgrade outside of re-rolling and getting quick so I kill the enemies first. Damn it. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, whenever a with consumes played, restore Pyre Health. We we actually have four consume cards in the deck. The uh, automatic rail spikes. I forgot about those. That spell of the turn all cards gain plus one magic power for the rest of the battle. I think a forgotten name might trigger once or twice. I don't need to put any of those in the deck though. really don't think I could have settled for large stone is the thing. Because then if I dupe the large stone one, I have to have eight capacity to put them on the same floor. It's like real prohibitive. God, I'd love the ability to descend. Have I been ignoring the ability to descend? No, wait, I've only seen Ascend so far. Have I been ignoring... No, I have been ignoring the ability to Ascend, but I didn't have Consumer of Crowns at the time, right? Hmm. Oh, I love that you immediately went to the top line. Thank you so much. I mean... Can give you multi strike so that anytime the seraph goes up there, you bop him a little more. Hey, give him the bop, see?
Wait, this one just doesn't have a solution. So. That is to say, it doesn't have a solution for taking less damage or anything like that. A Loy of the Ancients. It's already got in and also used the Rail Spike for the backliner. I'll take some damage to the ultimate penance here. But that's okay. Not super fussed about the fact that I get to take another damage to ultimate penance. It's fine. That was kind of expected to happen there on that bottom floor. There you go. I'm not going to be able to get you with spells, but I'll get you with a giant log I swing. Agent synergy is actually ridiculous. I may end up cost reducing and possibly even duping that. Um, I think it's time for extra energy. Mm, see, there, there are minion upgrades and spell upgrades like the ancient synergy. Like double cost reduce that and start duping it is nice. But I do need like just consumers of crowns. Conceal cabin, what do you got? Five health, five health, five health. Pyre gets plus 15 damage. If anything gets to our Pyre, we've already had a fundamental failing. Uh, the remove is going to be those two extra train stewies. And then, yeah, we definitely need to consumer crowns. Okay. Let's go. No most enemies enter with spikes. Fine. I think I now have enough uh, consumer crowns that this isn't that bad. If I still only had two, I would actually be kind of worried. Okay. Ancient synergy for billions and billions of damage points. I'm about to pass by two armor cards if I don't play them and I'll lose the consumer crowns real early. I need to play that armor card, but I think the second one has to go onto the Wilt Wings just so it doesn't come to the next floor. Unfortunately, that does mean I miss the Collector on the top line. There we go. That's fairly as little damage as I could take there. And then that one there. And then this gets powered up. And it has the ability. Oh, and it took out both of the back lines. Beautiful. Um, let's go. Armor. Another strike on you. Definitely Guardian's Amulet. I'm just going to take out the backliner as well. So you do deal you deal two damage, then I hit you three times. Fine. So I'll deal the extra damage there instead then. Because it doesn't change how many times I get to hit the living armor. Car. Car. Okay. So this one looks like it's going to work a little bit ago because I already had a kill.
That's a lot of money for duping more. Sack Imp Rage Serum. No. Also, no. Well, I mean, Merchant of Steel is next in the Unstable Portal in the Hell Event. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Okay, okay. I think at this point, the whole idea is that I just take down the Seraph before the Seraph can do anything about me. I'm gonna reroll this once just to see. Okay, nothing. Right, card dupe A. Four times multi striker. Card dupe A. Four times multi striker. Oh, probably card dupe a four times multi striker. This way, I can replace them with themselves. Um, honestly, the least useful things consistently have been the Frozen Lancers. Even the Torches have been useful, because there are sometimes just backliners I need to target. Uh, and then we probably, yeah, have enough for a removal? We probably have enough for a removal. Alright. Alright, Sarah, the chase! Show me what you've got. I want to see. Because I think I got a better hand, bud. Oh god, both of the consumers of crowns with the four times multi striker in hand. Those are going to need to be played. Should I defend them behind? No, but I can't defend them. I mean, I can defend them. It's just I have to wait for the next draw to defend them. Hmm. The thing is, where I place this is going to decide the game. And I need to know. Uh, see, I want the extra health one in front of you. Or armor or something. Sorry to be stalling on this for so long. Like, it is possibly the most important decision I'm going to be making. Alright. I'll be playing the next multi-striker. As if they're not all multi-strikers. I'll play the next big multi-striker uh, in the next cycle. So many of their days, we get the Hornbreaker to actually get a Slay off. I like that, despite the 15 damage we have to take in order to trigger it. Uh, and then we Hornbreak, and then we Rail Spike, saving us a lot of HP on this one. Guardian's amulet is nice here. It, it, it prevents the double ember drain. Like, this has to be done. It's just we probably lose that consumer of crowns. Like, I have the ability to ancient alloy and then flash freeze the back line or something like that, but really what I should be doing is putting down, you know, healthy consumer of crowns and then multi-striking consumer of crowns here on the bottom floor. I, I just have to commit to that. Okay. Well, first things first, definitely that. Then alloy of the ancients. Nice. <sighs> oh, 
Unfortunately, I've now deprived myself of a line to use Inferno on. But also, I can't really play around just using Inferno. Um, there we go, just so that we can beat up the Seraph as much as possible. If I had the damage to kill that Lightwing, I'd be so... I do! The torch has extra spell cost! Yeah, oh, perfect. Got him. So that's 2,000 of the Seraph's life bar already done. worried about this. Now we're only going to win on the second floor. An absolute tragedy. You gotta love the you gotta love the bullets of gauge. Despite the nerf, it is still good. It's although, you know, okay. I will be endeavoring over the course of this series on the update to describe a lot of different ways, because I've seen a lot of like new revived dislike of the volatile gauge. I'll be trying a lot of different ways to explain to you why the volatile gauge is good despite the randomness that it introduces into the game. This is not a good example of that because we got a rare unit early that costs 10. I understand this is a very, very atypical presentation of the value of that relic, but please trust me, it's so uh, Siren Song finally got golded. Uh, wait, you can guild things doing these? Huh. And Automatic Rail Spikes got gilded doing this as well. You love to see it. You absolutely do. Wait, did that just... Did that just tag this as a... Oh, please tell me this doesn't tag things as... Like, if I get Hellhorn Umbra, am I going to get a, a crown and level 25 on it? Dang. Did not actually super want that. I wanted to like have all of these. I mean, look at the melting remnant. That makes that makes so much sense for me, right? Uh, but I wanted to have all of these just hit 25 in normal runs. But also I do want to do the challenges right now. I'm gonna continue doing the challenges. I'm just a little eh, a little saddened that it actually comes up on the end screen there. For the moment though, my name's from Rhapsody. These consumer of crowns multi-strike. Three times for four total strikes. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content on this game, past, present, and future. Also, I have a Discord. I've mentioned this a couple times before, but if you're not familiar, I have a Discord. It's linked in the description down below. It's a really good place. A bunch of people are there, and they're really nice people and fun to hang out with. It'd be cool, uh, cool, cool to see you there. I even hang out in there. It's a good place. Uh, slash plug. That is the end of the plug for the moment. My name's been Rhapsody. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.